Good morning, everyone. Salamat, Carl. Tumayo ang balahibo ko sa na-witness ko ngayong umaga. And uh, it's truly edifying to be with teachers, all of you. I have been a teacher myself for the past 57 years. <laughs> Teaching is a passion for me. No, I usually teach on a Saturday, and I'm pulling the days until it's Saturday because it's a passion, something which I do every day. I don't go to class without preparing. I stay up to early morning just reading and reading for a three-hour lecture. That is what you teachers should do. You should never go to class unprepared because the student will know when you're bluffing and they know when you don't know. So why are we the most important actor in our political and socio-economic development? Because we are the ones molding the minds of our young. Do you know who is the best partner in life? It's a teacher, isn't it? There will be no engineers, no architects. There will be no, no sculptors. There will be no political leaders if it were not for us, the teachers. Do you believe that? Yes. Indeed. So the future of our country is in your hands. I would like to salute Carl, my friend and colleague. You're doing a gargantuan task. I didn't realize the audience would be this so big. <laughs> it's the first time for me to go to this Astrodome. Thank you so much. Now, why are we so important in the life of our nation? It is because we, from the time a child is born, it is we who will mold the minds of the child until about 10 years old. That is why teachers in this particular span of a student's learning are the most important contributors to the values, the orientations, and attitudes of our young. After 10, we are no longer able to meld what they have in mind. That is why we in the university, when we get them at 18, Carl, they already have fixed things in their mind. And therefore, do not ask us to even shape them because it's too late to shape them. The time to shape them is when they are from zero to 10. That is the scientific evidence. And because we're all scholars, don't pay attention to chismes, pay attention to science. Is that correct? Yes, that is why we teachers, we must be the epitome of poverty and integrity. Hindi po tayo pwedeng guro, tapos hindi tayo pwedeng modelo ng what a good human being is. After all, scholarship and your humanity, they have to come together. Do you know the greatest indicator of political and socioeconomic development? The greatest indicator is how many of the citizens they're in are in fact informed with skills and competencies to struggle through all the world that we are in. I'm sure you know everything that is happening around us. You don't need to be a geopolitical expert like me, but you know what's happening in Ukraine. You know what's happening in Palestine. You know what's happening in all the divided countries of the world. You know na pinag-aagawan yung dagat ng anim na bansa. Isa na tayo sa anim. At pilit nating dinidivide yung dagat na ayaw naman panibide ang dagat sapagat iisa lang ang dagat. Do you believe that? So we, we as teachers, should be able to embed in the minds of our young that this is in fact the case. We belong to one planet. There's only one atmosphere. There's only one water. And the teacher, the teacher must not be the challenge of bigotry. The teacher must not be the channel for discrimination. The teacher cannot be a channel for racism. So is there an ideology in our education? Yes. 
Our education is the ideology for liberal democracy because liberal democracy is the one that frees the mind of human beings. Hindi po tayo pwedeng magbigay ng predicate ng ating mga estudyante. Yung pa mga libro ninyo na meron ng conclusion about martial law, about American occupation, the Japanese occupation, and Spanish occupation, dapat pong i-delete lahat ng mga textbooks na yan sapagkat ang inyong mga estudyante ang dapat gumawa ng kanilang conclusion. Tama ba? We are not teaching the what, the when, the how, and the where. We, are, we want the student to ask the why and the so what. Kaya wag po kayo bilang guro magiging balakid sa malawak na talakayan sa eskwelahan natin. Kapag kayo ay naging balakid, hindi kayo guro. Ewan ko kung ano yung tawag sa inyo, pero hindi kayo guro. So, bilang huli, tayo po ay hindi naghuhubog ng mga pananaw at pag-iisip para maging Pilipino. Bakit? The kind of nationalism that we have should not be propagated because it is so inclusive and it excludes others. It is the start of the othering and we should not believe we should be that channel. What we should do is to really be the avenue, the channel, so that our citizens and our students should be citizens of the world. Good morning.